This is one of the most requested videos about a well-structured routine to get rid of pimples and acne once and for all. Let's face it, acne is not an easy problem to crack. You guys might have tried numerous creams, home remedies and maybe even antibiotics but nothing seems to work. This is because they don't heal, only suppress the problem. When it comes to issues like acne, I firmly believe that you don't just need a remedy but a holistic plan to tap the problem from its root cause, which according to Ayurveda is aggravated pitta in the blood. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three simple practical steps that will purify your blood, balance your hormones naturally and immune you from future breakouts. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Alright, so the first thing that you need to have after you are up and fresh is Trifla water. I'm sure you would have heard about Trifla but not many know how effective it is to treat acne when consumed the right way. Made from three superfoods, Amla, Harad and Baheda, this classical formulation in its powder form is what you need. Each of these three fruits have a specific role to play. Where Amla being extremely rich in vitamin C, it's an Ayurvedic rasayan for the blood and liver. Harad is well known to treat skin diseases and infection as it flushes out toxins from the internal layers of the skin. Baheda is a rejuvenating herb that reduces body heat, shields the skin from oxidative radical damage and cleans the intestines. Overall, their combination is unmatchable to any medicine that you might pop for acne. So a night before, mix half teaspoon of Trifla powder in about 100 ml of water. Please note that this mixture is to be prepared only in a mud pot. No other metal container like steel or copper will give you as fast the results. Keep the container covered overnight so that the powder is able to release its properties effectively in the water. In the morning, strain off Trifla powder and drink only the water slowly sip by sip. This method of herbal preparation is called Hema or cold infusion and it's extremely beneficial while treating pitta imbalances like acne. So here is the morning drill. Wake up, drink plain water, empty your bowels, brush your teeth and then have Trifla water. After having Trifla water, make sure that you do not eat anything for the next 30 minutes. Give it the opportunity to work within your system. Meanwhile, before you get ready for the day, nourish your skin further. How? It's a traditional way of using sandalwood paste. If there is one herb that is most soothing in acne, it's white sandalwood, not red. Due to its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties, sandalwood paste, when applied to skin, attacks the toxic accumulations, calming the internal layers of the skin almost instantly. We must understand that our skin eats through its small pores and using toxic chemical-laden face washes and creams will only worsen the condition. So make sure that you do not use any products while following this routine. Instead, follow this healing face cleansing routine. If you have dry skin, take some cool milk. And if you have oily skin, take pure rose water. Now using a cotton ball, dip it in milk or rose water and gently clean your face. It will hardly take a minute but will effectively open up the pores and draw the dirt and grime out. Once done, on a stone pata board, put a few drops of water and rub the white sandalwood stick for about a minute. A paste will form. In 2-3 to three minutes, Minutes, you will get enough paste. This is the most authentic and the purest way to extract sandalwood. In this, add a pinch of turmeric and depending on your skin type, dry or oily, add rose water or cool milk respectively to make a paste-like consistency. Your healing face mask is now ready. If due to some reason you are not able to follow this method, you can use white sandalwood powder to make a paste in this ratio. Apply it gently and uniformly over your face. You can instantly feel the healing touch. Leave it as it is for at least 20 minutes and then wash it while taking bath with running tap water. When your skin is prone to breakouts, you must choose a moisturizer very carefully. Kumkumadi Telam, Radha Face Oil and Cold Pressed Coconut Oil are recommended if your skin is dry. For oily skin, pure aloe vera gel is the best. If you want fast results, please avoid cosmetic products as much as possible. Alright, so after you have nourished your skin well, there is just one easy yet important step to be taken at night. Now you can spend your day well. Don't forget to take care of your skin. Like how? Like this.
Now before we move on to the last step of this routine, let us talk about foods for acne. Have you noticed how sometimes when you eat something, pimples appear the very next day? That's because there are some foods and combinations that irritate the skin layers causing breakouts. You will be amazed to know how very clearly Ayurveda lists foods that are skin irritating and also the foods that heal acne. Extremely greasy and oily foods, excessive indulgence in spicy food, sour foods like tamarind, pani puri, chaat papdi, consuming milk or tea with salty food like paratha or namkeen, eating fruits or salads after the meal. Salads and fruits are good but eat them before the meal. Then packaged foods which are overloaded with table salt and preservatives will also increase pitta. Curd is abhishandi that is channel clogging and should be eaten only if it is fresh and naturally sweet. In doubt, it's best avoided. You can have buttermilk instead. Keep tea and coffee to a minimum due to their heating properties. Instead, make a tea boiling equal amounts of cumin, coriander and fennel seeds in water. According to Ayurveda, this tea is an antidote to the excess spicy food that might have aggravated the problem in the first place. Even certain sticky vegetables are skin irritating. These include brinjal, ladyfinger, arbi, yams and jackfruit. Keep them out of your diet at least following this routine. Rest all seasonal fruits and vegetables are recommended and you should eat them interchangeably. Talking about healing foods, foods that are bitter like bitter gourd, fenugreek seeds, aloe vera juice are detoxifying. Foods that are high in water like coconut water, watermelon, cucumbers, pumpkin, bottle gourd, tori, tinda, heal acne. Needless to say, you should drink enough water throughout the day. Then foods that are sweet also reduce inflammation inflammation and stress. All naturally sweet foods, sweets made of natural sweeteners are recommended. Strictly keep out refined sugar and artificial sweeteners. They are counterproductive. Just like to study and concentrate, you need a peaceful environment. Your body needs an optimal environment to heal itself. So don't ignore them. Now let us move to step number three of this holistic routine, which you have to execute at least two hours after dinner and 30 minutes before going to sleep at night. It's simply to have one teaspoon of shatavar powder mixed in one glass of warm milk. If you do not drink milk, you can flush it down with water as well. Shatavari or asparagus is a powerful herb considered in Ayurvedic tradition for its hormonal balancing properties. Contrary to common belief, Shatavari is not just for women alone but for all. Its anti-inflammatory action cleanses the blood, reducing pitta and soothing skin membranes. Its sattvic properties reduce stress, another major cause of acne. Drink it sip by sip. It is crucial that you do not eat anything after having it. Consider it as your bed meal and sleep well. So that completes your three-step Ayurvedic routine to get rid of pimples and acne permanently. Before we recap, I want to share with you a bonus step which also has extraordinary benefits. It's after you wake up in the morning, before drinking your first water, take some saliva on your finger and apply on the sides of pimples. Basic in nature, morning saliva has the highest healing properties. Animals lick their wounds to heal them. It's nature's medicine. Make use of it. So to recap, in the morning, after waking up, apply saliva on the pimple sites. Drink water, freshen up. Then have trifla water stored overnight in a mud pot. For daily face cleansing, use either cool milk or rose water depending on your skin. Then make a sandalwood paste with a pinch of turmeric. Avoid using cosmetic products. Avoid oily, greasy, excessive sour and salty foods. Avoid sticky vegetables. Bitter and naturally sweet foods are recommended. At night, have milk with shatavari powder. So friends, follow this routine for two months. And if you do so, our ancient texts guarantee that the problem of acne will be history for you. Post this, just eating the right foods would be enough. From a cost angle, I have calculated and the complete course of two months will cost you around 1250 rupees. And what's important is that you have not just healed the symptoms but tapped the root cause. Don't forget to share your results in the comment section. All the ingredients used in the routine can be easily bought offline. Although for your convenience, I have linked them down in the description box as well. Found this video helpful? If yes and if you would like to see more such routines, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Are you suffering from frizzy and weak hair? Check out Mama Earth's Argan Hair Mask. Enriched with argan, avocado oil and milk protein, it is made from 100% toxin-free ingredients without any artificial fragrance. The company recommends it for men and women of all hair types. To use it, part your hair in two halves. Take a generous amount of the hair mask and apply it evenly from root to tip. Leave the mask for 15 to 25 minutes before washing it off with a sulfate-free shampoo. For extra dry and frizzy hair, use it twice a week. 
to buy mamarth's argan hair mask click on the link down in the description box do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get 21% off on your order so friends that's all for this video you can now support my work by clicking on the join button below please do remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me you can also follow me on instagram my name is vivek i thank you so much for watching